On your left, you see the word Daniel. Or the prophet Daniel. That was in captivity in Babylon. And Babylon was known for the hanging gardens of Babylon. And on the right side, you see the word garden. But what I'm bringing to your attention is that the word Daniel in garden is spelled very much differently. Everyone. But you can clearly make out in both calculations without a doubt the year 2015 in the prophet Daniel in his book it's the year 1335 mentioned in Daniel chapter 12 verse 12 In calculation to my right, this is no other than the Garden of Eden. And in both calculations, when I get to the number five, the E in both words, when I get to the E in Daniel, and I get to the E in the word Garden, they both show. The exact same number, 2520. But clearly, from either calculation, you can make out the year 2015. Just like I told you, in either calculation, you can make out the year 2015. In the word garden, you see the two, the zero, the one, the five. Two zero one five. Mm -hmm. Two zero one five. Okay, the word garden. Really highlight it. Two zero one five. Two zero one five. So that's what be. What I'm showing you should be amazing to everyone that the word garden or the garden of Eden is showing the last year on earth and the day of judgment. The judgment started in the garden and it will end in the garden, which is no other than the earth. Two zero one five found inside the word garden. When we get to the letter E in the word garden, Daniel, when we get to the letter E in the word Daniel, 2520, D-A-N-E, D-A-N-I-E, can make out 2015. And the total for the year 2015, which is 1440. Total total for the the total number for the year 2015. It's no other than the number you see here. 1440. It's about to the 144,000. That will be redeemed from the earth this year, 2000. 15. Clearly, if you look at both calculations, you can make out the year 2015 from going from right to left. See, this is the 2 to 0. I mean, from left to right. Two to zero. One five two thousand fifteen. That's the word garden. It's the word Daniel. Two zero. 
one five. So how does Daniel connect to the garden? When the garden of Eden was here way before Daniel. How is it that they both these these names? Well, you know, God showed me both of these names. One is called in when man's first home. And then you talk about Daniel. Is there any connection with Babylon and Iraq? The first home of man was supposed to be where the Euphrates River is in Iraq today. But that explains Saddam Hussein's fate at the hand of Barack Hussein Obama. And could it be more than a coincidence that two very different words have so much significant understanding behind both of them? Find in the word garden, everyone, the 74. 74 is no other than Jesus. J is 10, E is 5, S is 19, U is 21, S is 19. And the verse is 74, is 47, which is time. This 5, 2, 2, 0. These numbers are associated, associated to Adam and Eve. A is 1. D is 4. A is 1. M is 13. A is one, D is four, A is one, so A is one, it's 13. You see, this is Adam, everyone, this is man. Okay, this holds right there, that's 52, everyone. But this is the word Daniel, so what I'm gonna have to do is show you word garden. You see in 52 when I did multiply the word Adam. Now this is the word garden. G. A. R. T. Let me get to the E, remember. Okay. Everyone. This is the word Adam, multiply. This is the word garden. Can you not make out the 52, like the 52 weeks in the year, in the middle of the word, in the middle of the calculation when we multiply the word garden? The man, the name Adam multiplies to 52, everyone. No coincidence. Word, you can find a 52 inside the word garden, everyone. The number 52 inside the word garden. And it's the word Adam again. A D A M is 52. It's the word garden. Adam was in the garden. You see the 22? All the years that Adam lived. 9 plus 3 plus 10. 22 and 22. I 
Who was with him? Eve. E. Who's with him in the garden? Is the mother of all living Eve? Do you see the two five two zero everyone? The fifty five. You see it five five. You see the twenty two. This is Eve multiplied everyone. See the twenty two. See the twenty two. See the five five. See the five five. Five five. Okay now. Multiply Eve to a lower denomination. Five times five. You see the twenty-five, everyone. The verse of that is fifty-two. Here goes Eve. I showed you Adam. They both were in the garden. How is it that their names and the long and how long he lived is connected with the word, the numbers in the word garden. Also, both of those, both of them, two times five is ten. Multiply E to the lowest denomination, you can make out two zero one five, just like the sign of the cross. And looking at the word card and letters changing numbers, you can make out two zero, two zero, two zero. And then the one and the five, one and the five, the two zero, the one and the five, two zero, the one and the five. The garden showing the year two thousand fifteen. Eve showing the year two thousand fifteen. Adam showed the year two thousand fifteen. A times four. Times A times 13 is 52. Adam and Eve connected to the card and the numbers in the year 2015. We got 5 and 2. Now, 5 times 2. Eve and Adam multiplying their Names to as low as a nomination, Adam and Eve, both show you 2015. Now, Eve was the X shape. Adam, 2015. Two, go on counterclockwise. 2015. Eve was like this X. And Adam was round. And together, put that together, that's the sign of the ox. The man was, Adam was O, going counterclockwise. Eve. Eve was the X two zero one five, Adam was the O two zero one five. So Eve is two zero one five, the X, Adam is two zero one five on counterclockwise to show the year two thousand fifteen. So combining that together, everyone, that is what you call the ox. An ox, also known as a bullock in Australia. The ox is the second of the 12 year cycle of animals which appear in Egyptian culture everyone the ox was very much revered oxen were very much revered 
And it's incredible how the Bible mentions don't be unequally yoked in marriage. And clearly oxen or ox or bullocks or bulls. had a yoke around their necks. And the Egyptian religion, the ox was revered as a god. And one of the names was Apis. If you look at a lot of ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics or pictographs or pictures, you see the ox. It was sacred to them. Apis Adati, the sacred bull. Apis the bull god. Apis. Egyptian God. Egypt divine coats of the sacred bull. Seth, God of confusion. Worship as Yahweh as a bull. Cows, oxen. And bulls in ancient Egypt, pagan gods of Egypt, time will fail me to try to get into all that and explain all that to you, but clearly, Egyptians even worship the ox as a god. It is very unique, all that God has shown me. The Y chromosome is the Y in the English alphabet. It's no other than the 25th letter, which makes up the first and the last numbers of the year 2015. Y chromosome is one of the two sex chromosomes, allosomes, and mammals including humans and many other animals. The other is the X chromosome. Y is the sex determining chromosome in many species since it's the presence or absence of Y that determines male or female sex in mammals. The Y contains the gene SRY which triggers testes development. So that's clearly for the male. The DNA in the human Y chromosome is composed of about 59, billion, 59 million base parts. The Y chromosome is used in genealogical research with a 30% difference between humans and chimpanzees. So when evolutionists teach you that you came from monkeys and apes, you know that's crazy. Because it's a 30% difference between humans and chimpanzees. Thank you. The Y chromosome is one of the fastest evolving parts of the human genome. To date, over 200 Y-linked genes have been identified. All Y-linked genes are expressed and apart from duplicated genes. Hemis gross present only one chromosome except in the cases of 
anipoluti, such as XYY syndrome or XXYY syndrome. Clearly, I showed you or told you that the Y was 25. The testes. I showed you this for a reason. Because clearly man was created first. But other than that, I showed you the O with the Eve calculation. I mean the O with the male. The X with the woman. Because clearly the woman is an X chromosome. The X chromosome is one of the two sex determining chromosomes and many animal species including mammals and the other is a Y chromosome and is found in both males and females. It is a part of the XY sex determination system and XO sex determination system. This my friends XY and XO. The X chromosome was named for its unique properties by early research, which resulted in the naming of its counterpart Y chromosome from the next Latin alphabet. The X chromosome in humans spans from more than 153 million base pairs. Each person normally has one pair of sex chromosomes in each cell. Females have two X chromosomes. That's why. The mother, excuse me, one of their mother's X chromosomes. Okay, females have two X chromosomes. Whereas males have one X and one Y chromosome. Both males and females retain one of their mother's X chromosomes and females retain the second X chromosome from their father since the father retains his X chromosome from his mother. A human female has one X chromosome from her paternal grandmother father's side and one X chrom chromosome from her mother. Identifying genes on each chromosome is an active area of gen Genetic research. I showed everyone. This is Eve, the X two zero one five, right? And this was Adam. A. D A M fifty two, just like the word garden. The number is fifty two, so five times two is ten. Reading counterclockwise. Adam was the O. Or the 15. Me was the X in the English alphabet numbers. X is the 23rd letter. 24th, sorry, my apologies. X is the 24th level. May I explain why there's 24 hours on Earth. You know, it's 15. In any event, what I'm showing you is that both of their calculations show the first and 
and the last number for the year 2015. But to get to the understanding of the year 2015, you have to go from 2 to 0 to 1 to 5 with, them, with Adam and Satan with the shape of an O. And Eve is clearly the shape of the X, E, B, <clears throat> E, and 5 times 5 times 10. No other than 250 and 2 and 2 times 5 times 10 no other than 100. But in any event, 2015. In the year 2015, everyone, I tell you, would multiply. Is a hundred. So all this is connected. And both their numbers show the same thing. When you their names, let's change it to numbers and multiply, show the same as the word garden. When you get into the letter E in the word garden, <coughs> excuse me. And you clearly see the twenty six and the eighty six. God created the garden just like God created Adam and Eve. Elohim. So you got G, excuse me, G, A, R, D, G, A, R, D, E. I made a mistake there, I'm sorry. I oh, definitely made a mistake there. Yeah. G A R D E. Two zero one five. Two zero one five. It was clearly, clearly a. a, a Direct connection between Adam, Eve, first and foremost, God, Adam, Eve, and all of the other mankind that evolved from Adam and Eve and not from chimpanzees or apes. And clearly, God has come this year, 2015, 2015, and it shows in Adam, it shows that number shows in Eve. And it definitely shows in the garden of Eden.